Thank you all so much for coming. This is honestly overwhelming. 340 participants and 35 countries represented from over five different continents. So we have representation of conservation really from around the globe here. I am so excited. This is my first time to join a broad and a big conference like Earth Ranger. Earth Ranger at its core is a system that integrates data and aggregates it from a lot of different places. We are integrated with over 100 different data sources, whether that be a collar on an elephant or a camera trap or satellite data and we pull all of that together into one place where it's then available for visualization and to optimize operations. This is a really important conference for me and, and for the organization and I think for a lot of conservationists who really want to use the most of what's happening in terms of technological advances across the world and this is really an exciting place to connect with people using new technologies and it's just great to see the collaboration that's taking place. This conference is important for us because it is one of the platform where we look at different emerging technologies and how we can use that over what we are using. Earth Ranger has enabled us to know what we manage and they have real-time response. For example, they are able to see men patrolling. We are able to monitor the vehicles when they go out, monitor the aircrafts, monitor the animals themselves. I'm excited to be here. I think this is a great opportunity for users of Earth Ranger to learn about how to maximize uh, the use of the platform for conservation efforts. The Earth Ranger User Conference to us has meant a lot over the years. This is the seventh time we've been doing this. And in my observation, it's potentially uh, possible that this event has had as much of an impact on conservation as the actual Earth Ranger software. The community that's been built around Earth Ranger is just tremendous. And I think we were trying to build a, a product to solve a problem. And in addition to doing that, we also have provided a platform for this community to come together. We have to make our science into applications and bringing together people that are doing the applications already with the science, that's, that's exactly how it should be. We shouldn't reinvent the wheel of applying things. It's quite interesting getting to see how different organizations in different countries uh, apply at Ranger because I've always known one way of applying it. Getting to interface with people from all over the world now who have started using Earth Ranger or are interested in it, it's really fascinating the, the different use cases, how conservation issues vary across geographies. Um, but yet there's this common sort of thread throughout it all and, and that's very much looking to data-driven conservation and I think that that's really what Earth Ranger has provided. A conservation is a collaborative venture and uh, not a few people can be able to manage it without the involvement of others. It's been a great eye-opener for me. I've been exposed to a lot of conservation practices which I wasn't aware of before. It's also made me realize there's things we could do differently and it's amazing to be surrounded by passionate people and people from all walks of life. I mean, we have people from Cambodia, from Peru, from North America, all coming to Kenya, all sharing these conservation success stories. And it's really energized us to see this global movement towards conservation. I feel hopeful, especially when you've been in a room with like these 300 or 350 people that are here and you hear like the cool stuff that's going on. And I think everyone in the conservation community has such a focus on being positive about conservation, which I think is a really good shift from years ago when it was like doom, gloom and destruction, whereas now it's very positive, very forward focused. The world is going in a really good place. What's really amazing that we have seen is, is the huge variety of use cases that people have found for this tool, whether that's security or science, etc. But in the long term, the success of conservation is going to depend specifically on the ability for communities to live among or near wildlife. And anything that Earth Ranger can do to assist conservation organizations in empowering and protecting communities will ultimately lead to long-term conservation benefits and outcomes.